Slumberland, the latest fantasy movie to drop on Netflix, follows a young girl named Nemo through a fantastical and conceptually intriguing story. Described as Inception for 10-year-olds, Slumberlands is a rare gem that deserves a place in the big leagues. We take a closer look at the movie, is Nemo reunited with her father? The film's popularity has led to talk of a sequel, so will there be a Slumberland 2? Want to learn more about the film? Let's head to Slumberland. With a budget of $150 million to play with, Francis Lawrence, who directed the last decade's biggest YA franchise in The Hunger Games, well, three quarters of it, helms a wondrous and captivating film adaptation of Slumberland, loosely based on an early 20th century comic strip by Winsor McKay. Slumberland star is relative newcomer Marlo Barkley, who plays Nemo, a bright young girl whose idyllic life in an isolated island lighthouse is torn apart when her widowed father Peter goes missing at sea while coping with the trauma of being orphaned at a young age. She's shipped off to a high-rise apartment in Toronto with her estranged uncle, and the differences couldn't be bigger. Whereas her adventurer dad regaled her with marvelous bedtime stories that allowed her imagination to run wild, his brother is a solemn doorknob salesman whose utter lack of interest in connecting with children is evident in both his words and actions. Quote, I was the first school kid interested in door hardware. He proudly boasts while showing off his collection to his understandably disinterested niece. But one one night, Nemo is transported to an outlandish dream world, Slumberland, where she can escape her humdrum existence. For Nemo, this isn't just a place of her subconscious, it's a real world as well. When she meets a roguish outlaw named Flip, she learns there's a way for her to see her father again. Does Flip help her to see her father again? Keep watching as we dive deeper into the land of slumber. First, who is this Flip character? Nemo's father used to tell her stories about his friend Flip and the adventure they shared together. They fought monstrous nightmares and similar foes in hopes of grabbing sea pearls which could grant wishes. She assumed Flip was a fictional character, but when she enters Slumberland and the dreamlike version of the lighthouse she grew up in, she discovers he is real after she finds him rooting around in her late father's things. Flip, played by Jason Momoa, unlike the cigar-smoking clown in the comics, is a satyr whose appearance and mannerisms run the gamut of movie mischief makers from Beetlejuice to most obviously Jack Sparrow. If there is ever a sixth Pirates of the Caribbean movie, producers should look no further for Johnny Depp's replacement. We learn that Flip chose to stay in Slumberland instead of returning to the real world after falling into it decades ago. Since that time, BOSA, the Bureau of Unconscious Activities, has been trying to find him and stop him from entering other people's dreams. Whilst there is a big tear-jerking twist regarding Flip's persona, what matters most is Flip's connection to her father, who he still remembers, and the information he has that can help Nemo get back to him. Does Flip know a way to reunite Nemo with her dad? Flip tells Nemo that she needs to find one of the pearls that grants the user a dream of their choosing. The location of the pearls is on the dream map of Slumberland, which Nemo eventually finds. The place of their origin is the Sea of Nightmares, so that becomes the destination that Nemo and Flip must travel to. At first, he comes off like the source material Flip, a troublemaker maker and a bad influence, but when he and Nemo locate the map to the pearls, they become friends. Nemo's dream is, of course, that she wants to see her father again, but Flip also has an ulterior motive for seeking the pearls. He admits to Nemo he's been lost in this dream world for decades, and as such, he's forgotten his true self, so Flip wants to wake up and stop partying in this dream world. As such, they both have very good reasons to undertake what turns out to be a very hazardous journey. What challenges are up ahead for the pair? Well, to get to the Sea of Nightmares, Nemo and Flip must navigate through many dreams. But the journey is made difficult. Like we said, Flip is being haunted by BOSA, and as Nemo accompanies him, she becomes a subject of the agent's mission as well. As if that wasn't enough to tackle, Nemo is also pursued by a giant squid, which is symbolic of the grief that won't let go of her. After having various adventures together, Agent Green catches up with them, Flip is locked up, and Nemo returns to the waking world where she spends time with her uncle. Do they ever get the pearls? Keep watching because we'll be explaining the ending. Time to reveal the twist? While watching home videos that feature the childhood adventures of Philip and Peter together, she realizes the flip her father talked about in the stories was actually Philip. Did anyone figure it out due to the connection between the names? Let us know in the comments. Philip's sense of adventure had been stolen by the dream world. Upon realizing this, Nemo knows that Philip slash Flip is in 
much need of the pearls as she is. When Nemo returns to Slumberland, she rescues Flip from captivity, and they reach the sea. But when Nemo confesses his real identity to Flip, he decides that he doesn't want to wake up as the boring person Philip has become. Cue the tears. Nemo then continues her journey for the pearls, but it's halted when she's woken up by her school teacher. Back at her uncle's house, she and Philip fight, and Nemo runs away. She gets a boat to get to the lighthouse. Unfortunately, she is knocked out on the way there and slips into unconsciousness. In the real world, her life is in danger because she is slipping into the ocean. In the dream world, she finds the dream version of her father's old boat within the Sea of Nightmares, and inside, she finds the pearls. Just as she finds them, the squid arrives, but before she is swallowed up whole, Flip arrives to rescue her. Does Nemo ever reach the pearls? Flip and Philip, in a dual world mission, come to her rescue. Back in Slumberland, Nemo uses the pearl she has found for a different purpose than what she originally intended. Can you guess what she used it for? Instead of using her one wish to see her father, Nemo uses it to save Flip. Flip is returned to Philip, who finds his sense of adventure again. It seems Nemo lost the chance of finding her father. Fortunately for Nemo, all hope is not lost. Agent Green tells Nemo to squeeze her pig, but when she does so, a pearl falls out of its mouth. She uses this pearl to make her wish. In a magical end, we see Nemo get her wish and spends time with her dad at the lighthouse. Nemo wakes up and realizes life must go on without her father, something she feels able to do after spending her last few moments with him. Fortunately, she now has Philip to keep her company, and together they embark on a new life filled with the courage that each of them has been imbued with. The film is a magical exploration of the many facets of death, grief, and loneliness, and a never better Momoa means we'd be happy to see Slumberland return for a sequel. Is there going to be a Slumberland 2? Maybe just in our dreams. Sadly, there is no confirmation of Slumberland 2 by Netflix. And we likely won't get any news until the streaming service sees how well the film does in terms of viewers. Netflix's renewal policy is heavily dependent on viewership, so the company will be watching to see how many people watch Slumberland before the sequel is greenlit. But the film's viral YouTube trailer has already generated over 8 million views, so let's hope they all tune in. In an interview with Screen Rant, director Francis Lawrence teased other dreams he'd like to explore if there were a sequel. Quote, Ideally, we get to make another one, and then we can come up with a bunch of new dreams for that, he said. In an interview with Collider, Momoa revealed that he's been manifesting not just Slumberland 2, but a third movie as well. What would be the plot of Slumberland 2? The second film will likely lead on from the first. The second film could go more into the relationship between between Nemo and Uncle Flip, we mean Philip. Another possibility is that Nemo might grow up and forget about Slumberland only to rediscover it later, or it could even cover a different child coming into Slumberland for different reasons. When would the sequel to Slumberland come out? If the announcement were to be made soon, we can imagine that with filming and post-production, the film would not be out for at least two years. It would probably come out again during the holiday season since it is so whimsical. If you're looking for a new and original fantasy film in the older child genre, this is a must-watch. Visually amazing and with great acting by all, with special effects far beyond anything you've ever seen before, this movie is fun for kids and adults alike. Available to watch right now on Netflix. And with that being said, my friends, we have reached the end of today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and while you're down there, why not give us a like and share this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.